Yo guys, my name is Washer J and this is GMJ. Subscribe to TJ God Kicks 89 on YouTube channel. What's going on everyone? TJ Got Kicks 89 here back with another video for you guys. Thank you to everyone that has been liking my videos, commenting, subscribing, and most importantly have been buying my merch. To every one of you, thank you so much. We are back today with another pickup and unboxing for you guys. And today we got something from Jordan Brand, a recent restock. And this is the box that it comes in. From the size tag you can tell it's a Jordan brand box and the size tag reads Air Jordan 18 retro in the black metallic silver in a size US 10 so without any further ado let's get into the box this is I mean every single Jordan shoe is my grail the signature ones at least but i have been searching for this pair for a really long time bam the jordan 18 in one of the original advertised colorways this is the black and royal colorway and i'm just going to talk a little bit about the history of the shoe this shoe was one of Michael's last signature shoes when he was playing professionally in the NBA. This and the white and royal one was the one that he wore when he was with the Washington Wizards in his last few games. Um, like I said, this was one of the original advertised colorways of this shoe. Basically, any press releases, any sort of ads came with this colorway, which is why when I was flipping through pages of Slam, um, uh, other kicks, I think they were slam kicks, um, but when I saw this shoe, I knew I wanted to have it. Um, I couldn't get it on the original release, they sold out. Um, thank you resellers, but I managed to cop two pairs of this shoe, different sizes obviously. And this is the one in the US 10 because this is the one that looks significantly better. This shoe is constructed with a primarily suede upper um, all around the shoe except for the parts of the inside where it uses synthetic leather, what it feels like synthetic leather, used here and also on the tongue. And that's an insert right there. Um, and the way that this shoe was constructed, it was, a, it was um, the main inspiration behind it was a racing shoe because at this time, um, I think from models, from this model up until the 23rd, I want to say, was all inspired, sorry, the 21st or 22nd, was all, in, were all inspired by racing, um, racing, everything racing basically, because at that point, Jordan Motorsport had actually done something big. They they started up the, the whole bike team and whatsoever. And I think they were probably planning to have an F1 team at some point, but that didn't really materialize. So this was what the um, shoe was inspired by. You could tell that from the back where this huge heel counter is wrapped up in a um, driver racing style. If you look at like the Puma Ferrari racing shoes, they'll have this at the back just to kind of when you put your pedal, when you put your foot on the pedal, like it will have something to anchor it against apparently. Um, yeah. So. The upper is primarily suede, like I said. You have black laces on this shoe with um, la uh, metal lace tips with the Jumpman logo on there. Um, no spare laces for this release. Um, you have on this side this really, really cool air vent, which doesn't really do much because it doesn't go through on the inside, but it's a cool touch because there's like this iridescent color that comes about I don't know if you can pick that up on camera but yeah that's there and it's on both sides of the shoe um, you've got this metal lace aglet sorry lace tip lace thing crown on the top and at that point uh, sorry uh, one of at during the original release this was um, aluminum 
so it's a little bit harder and a lot more durable than what we have now. I'm actually scared as hell to loop my lace through this because um, this is plastic and when I yank it tight, I just might break it and I may not be able to loop it up fully. But then again, I might be able to improvise and use this top lace hole, I don't know. But yeah, to just not mess with the aesthetics, I'm not gonna lace this up all the way. Um, for the midsole, you have what looks like a carbon fiber pattern going through both sides of the shoe. Um, and this was one of the shoes which was double lasted. Double lasted meaning, um, it basically means that the midsole sits within the shoe. It's not a separate part of the shoe. Um, yeah, let's just take, let's just take this for example. Like this is not a double lasted shoe because um, there's the midsole which sits outside of the shoe and this the midsole sits inside of the shoe. So it helped with containment and basically with your overall lateral movements and whatnot. Um, at the bottom, you've got a translucent uh, rubber sole with uh, solid pods using wave bone. You can see that. And you've got a carbon fiber shank in here, which is like a Y bar similar to what was on the Space Jam. And get this, this is the best part about the shoe. Well, let me just try to pull out the shoe tree very quickly. On the inside, you have one of Jordan's, your Jordan brand's innovation at the time, which was this. The comfort control plate, which was a Durapontex insole with carbon fiber on the insole and this was supposed to help with your front to back lateral movements whenever you're flexing with the shoe. Also the insole feels very very different, the lining of the insole feels very very different. Feels very very premium and very very comfortable. Talking about the tech specs of the shoe, this shoe features a full length uh, zoom air with a double stacked heel zoom air which means that there's full length zoom and there's another zoom air stack on top of the heel part of the zoom air which made this thing just so damn comfortable and so good to wear on court. Um, as with anyone's gripe with Jordan brand shoes of that era, the toe down isn't the most um, attractive thing about the shoe but I think the overall comfort, quality and just the amount of tech that you get for the shoe, like you get carbon fiber there and carbon fiber there, like what more could you want? For a, for a shoe head, like a sneaker geek like me, that's always welcome. And this shoe was quite expensive. In Malaysia, the retail price is, if I'm not mistaken, 879, which stands at about the same um, kind of pricing for retail for other shoes nowadays, but for this, for, for this shoe, that price, 879 is justified right in the shoe. Also an interesting thing to add about this model, back in the day, I think in 2001 or 2002, when this shoe came out, it, was, it came with a very, very premium um, box set. It was one of those slide out Jordan boxes. It had the 18 logo, exactly like what we have here, um, but in a slide out format. And we also had a brush, a suede brush because this would obviously attract dirt and scuffs. Um, you also got a towel and you got a CD-ROM and, and a pamphlet which was basically your driver's manual because this, shop, this, car, this, this shoe was inspired by cars. Um, so I'm gonna go and put this on feet for you guys because you guys have been asking a lot for an on feet video. I'm gonna just be wearing a standard black pair of joggers. I got my Against Lab um, champion collab sample that I got from their sale back in the day so I'm gonna be putting that on and this shoe on and you guys let me know what you like so I'll see you guys at the young feet
So that takes care of the review of the Jordan 18 in the black and royal colorway. I'm so glad that I was able to cop this at retail. Thank you resellers. Um, definitely one of my grails that I finally copped. I'm still looking for the white and royal one. If you have a parent size US 9.5, US 9 or US 10, do hit your boy up because I would be really interested. Um, so that will take care of this review. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my video. Merch is still on the way. If you want a black or white TJ Got Kicks 89 t-shirt, just hit me up on Instagram. Just hit up one of the comments here, or you can just hit my cell if you already know my number. Thank you so much, guys. This is the Jordan Black 18 in the black and royal colorway. This is your boy TJ Got Kicks 89. I will see you guys at the next one. I'm out.